Salesforce is one of the most powerful CRMs out there. And if you're watching this, you probably use it on a daily basis. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how much more powerful your Salesforce experience can be when it's integrated with Adobe Sign. Signing documents is an essential part of any client relationship. And this integration saves you the steps of logging into multiple platforms and keeping track of multiple documents. And in fact, this integration allows you to pull information straight from Salesforce into the appropriate fields of a document you're sending out for signature. There's many other facets of just how powerful this integration is. But today, we're gonna to be focusing on sending a document out for signature through Salesforce itself using Adobe Sign through its integration. So let's go ahead and get this started. So what I'll do here is for my Salesforce screen, I have an opportunity just simply called Project YOW. And what I'm gonna do here is just do a quick review of the screen. You'll see that the stages of this opportunity are set to prospecting right now. And over on the right-hand side, what we've done is we've added the Adobe Sign widget to the opportunity page that allows me to send in manage agreements right from this particular panel. So what I'll do here is I'll click on send an agreement. And I have the option of choosing from a number of predefined agreements that I have set up in Salesforce here. I'm gonna choose my partner agreement. And at this point, the agreement screen will get configured and ready to send. Important to note that this can be set up in a way that we don't see the screen that it automatically sends when we push the button. But in this case here, it's coming up for review. And we can see that currently the agreement is going to go to our user called Sarah Rose. And then the secondary signer is going to be myself, the fictional Tim Watley here. Also down here in the agreement configuration, I've already got things like the subject line that's already pre-configured. And basically what's happening here is it's pulling a lot of this information from the actual Salesforce opportunity and or the primary contact for that opportunity. Also over on the right, We've set up on this particular agreement template, things like completion deadline automatically set to a certain amount of days after the agreement gets sent out. I have the default recipient's language. This one is really just using the default English, but I could set it up to actually pull the language of the primary contact. So if Sarah Rose's language was set to Spanish, I could have pulled that right in here. And then her correspondence that goes out with Adobe Sign would be in Spanish. I think I'm happy with everything that I see here. So all I'm gonna do is click on send. And that agreement is now being sent out from Salesforce through to Adobe Sign and onto our recipient, Sarah Rose. I get my configuration that says that this was successfully sent out. Let's switch over to her view. So all Sarah needs to do is review the document. And if she's satisfied with this particular agreement or contract, she'll go ahead and sign it. And of course, when we go to sign this document, the methods that we can use to sign are either type in her name, or she can go ahead and scribble it with her finger or mouse, or she can upload an image if she has a scanned image or a picture of her signature, or she can even send a link to her mobile device so that she can sign it on her mobile device. And once that step's complete, we can see that because of this integration, Salesforce recognizes this step's completion and has updated appropriately. As I mentioned earlier, there's much, much more to this integration than we have time for in this video. But if you're still interested, contact us through the link in the description of this video or reach out on our website at aftia.com backslash contact us. Subscribe for more content and notifications. And thanks for watching.